Hey guys, Discourse Miniatures here with another Batman Miniatures game battle report. So I'll be commanding the Two-Face crew today, and as you can see, there is no actual Two-Face. I've got Spice is going to be my leader today, and then I've brought Sugar with her as well, because she's an excellent model, gives me access to the Order special action. As well as that, she also has teamwork with Spice too, so she's going to be a great support piece for Spice, and Spice, of course, has a lot of those rules as well. I've brought a number of the gangsters, so I've brought in as many of the rifles as I can because I've got three blood and that's just awesome. The three blood uh, rifle actions are great. Uh, those damage profiles are superb. Brought in a little uh, uh, Tommy gun here, the uh, Tommy gun, and I brought the shotgun guy as well, just to give me a little bit of AOE capacity. So, and then I've also brought in, I think it is Gangster 5, and he has the knife too. Um, so he doesn't cause, he doesn't cost any funding at all so he's pretty cheap and he's just another extra body he also brings goad which is a really nice special rule it's one of the stronger special rules i think in the game and i will be also bringing a couple of thugs from the back to gotham set just to add some more extra bodies my thinking for this game is i'm going to try and have as many activations as possible just because a lot of the two-faced crew uh cards they do get scoring they do score off the suspect markers on the board you already have need to have a lot of setup for those cards so I'm going to basically try and litter my side of the board with a lot of suspect markers and thus a lot of activations. Hopefully I can get a lot of inspired manipulate actions. And my suspect markers today will be the yellow suspect markers. And then my uh, dice will be black for the normal and then red for the strength die. So again, the no two-face, two-face, I'm bringing a no Batman, Batman. Uh, the leader is Jim Gordon. Um, I have Nightwing and Batgirl as the sidekick and free agent and then the usual cops of Bullock, the detective, uh, Merkel and these two cops here, uh, the taser and the light. Uh, so in terms of equipment I had a lot of fun in so I took uh, after buying everyone so I have helicopter support with um, Gordon, uh, Oracle with Batgirl and Bullock and the GCP detective both have radio and sergeant training, which means they always count as being in Inspire range, and they can they have the order ability. Um, I think I'm probably going to lose in a fight, so I'll have to play the objective game to win. Yeah, and then obviously for your normal dice, you're using the white dice. And then your strength die will be blue, and then your suspect markers will be the black suspect markers. Yes, so they're the one with snitch on the other side. Yes, exactly. They're the ones that came in the back to Gotham said. So let's see how well GCPD cops go without Batman being around to save them. Okay, guys, so welcome to round one, phase three of the first round. So we've already gone for our deployments. And as you can see here, it's a pretty crazy deployment there. You can see um, there is scattered all around the board and that's because we got the deployment secure the area, which is basically the corners. So I've deployed in this corner here and that corner there. And then Batman has deployed in this corner here and that corner here. And as an added caveat to this uh, deployment, there is actually, you have to choose one friendly henchman model, and then that model isn't deployed normally. Instead, he's deployed beside a friendly suspect marker during the initiative round, uh, of a, during the initiative phase, rather, of another round. So round two, we're gonna have uh, models come out. And for me, I chose Thug4. One of the Joker models here, and I believe that you chose GCP Cop One for you. So, in terms of the deployment, then um, I have most of my crew here. Basically, I imagine robbing this jewelry store, Mor Morley and Wagner. So, I have uh, Sugar Spice. I've got uh, Gangster Six. I have Wallace as well there, and then I have uh, the handgun uh, gangster, and then I actually think that during my deployment I had the wrong gangster out with the Tommy gun. The Tommy gun gangster I have is Gangster 6, um, he's the cheaper reputation one, but the stronger one in my opinion. And then over here I have the sort of, uh, some Joker crew members who are basically hanging out, playing some dice in the alleyway, they've seen there's been a bit of a commotion so they're going to get involved. And then I also have uh, one of the rifle uh, gangsters here, basically uh, setting cover up, uh, providing a bit of an ambush against the cops and then I have the shotgun gangster 
right there hiding and I've given him an audacity marker as well because I'm hoping to be able to basically get off a nice big AOE template on the cops coming in. Um, so he's got an audacity marker. I've given Sugar and Spice audacity markers and then I've given my gangster with a Tommy gun audacity marker just so that I can basically protect my crew from the Batman crew. And so uh, Nightwing is here. He's been given an audacity marker. Batgirl is here. She's been given an audacity marker. And then of course Gordon has been given an audacity marker as well. And uh, then you can see Bullock deployed with the hidden rule and so did the GCPD detective who has also been given the audacity marker. So it is a pretty crazy one. Now the event card that we drew was Labyrinthine Sewer, which basically means that anyone who ends their activations within four inches of a sewer marker suffer the enervating one effect. So that's actually pretty bad. I actually really don't want to end my, uh, I, I don't want to suffer from the enervating one because I have the, um, no, I don't have Ganglord, actually, because uh, I don't have Two-Face. Two-Face brings the Ganglord ability, so it's not, not as bad, actually, for me. Anyway, um, so my first activation, and I know exactly what I'm going to do, uh, because I have a good coin up. I'm going to begin the process of layering down my suspect marker. So I'm going to basically move forward here. I'm going to run towards, not quite into the light, but just enough. There we are, and I'm just going to simply use the inspired action to place down a suspect marker there. Nice. And that's where that's going to go. That is my activation. Um, not a big one, <laughs> really. So he has activated now. Glenn, do you know what you're going to do? I think I see what you've done there. You've put that in range of the light. The, mm -hmm. You've put the suspect marker in the light. So that I'll have to move back, girl or Nightwing. Well, you know, come forward, come you're forward and see. Come, fo come forward and see. Um, so, do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to have a, I'm going to activate Jim Gordon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spotlight up Sergio here. Oh man. I, didn't, I only just realized they all have their own individual names on the cards. Yes, they do. Uh, indeed, I, indeed, yes, of course they do. They're unique. I thought you were just making up names for the models you like. <laughs> no, just some of them I do that. Uh, I'm going to spotlight him up. Yep. I'm going to shoot him. Okay, well, let's get into that role now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to be using the spotlight uh, on Gordon to be shooting Sergio. That's no problem at all. And you've taken the upgrade that will allow you to take a gun to him. So yeah. it's going to be a single firearm die, right? Two it's plus? A, it's a rate of fire one. So yeah. it's a firearm. It's two plus on the firearm and whatever his defense is. Okay. And it ignores cover, has no range limit. And he's no longer affected by the night because he's covered by a spotlight. Sure, no problem at all. All those guys are. Sure, so you're trying to get threes on the normal deck. Yep. Uh, that inflicts two blood. Two blood. But I'm going to use normal lethal ammo. Okay. To convert that to two stun and score me a card. Okay, no problem at all. And I'm going to then immediately use my hardened to convert one of those to blood. Yeah. Um, I still think you score the card though, that's no problem at all. Mm -hmm. um, so you have scored a card. Uh, good for you, I suppose. Nice for yeah. some. That's what I gotta do. Okay, so you've dealt the damage to Sergio. Um, what are you going to do now? I'm going to move Gordon to here. Okay. And I'm going to drop a suspect marker here, which I believe is outside of my deployment zone. Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, that's outside of your deployment zone. Okay, that's no problem at all. Um, I'm going to activate Gangster 5, I think he is. Yeah, it's Gangster 5 with a knife and his wee yellow suit here. He's actually going to run forward like so. Okay. So he can drop down without really much of an issue because it's less than half his movement. He can run to here and then he's going to drop down a suspect marker with his inspired manipulate action there right beside Sir Marker. So come and get it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. And because I have ended within four inches of a Sir Marker with Gangster 5, he does take the enervating one uh, negative because the lamp around thanks Sir, which isn't a big deal. Um, you, a bigger deal if I had Ganglord, but I don't because Two Face isn't here. So, uh, what are you, who are you going to activate now then? I'm going to pass. You're going to pass? Sure. It's no problem at all. You have, uh, you've got four pass markers overall, don't you? So down to three mm. now. Um, so I, uh, I'm going to move a thug. Six. So this thug here, I didn't really need to bring him because uh, Sugar and Spike, they both have protect me rule. Um, but I thought a little bit of stun damage wouldn't go amiss. In terms of the uh, list build, uh, just I like to keep you honest a little bit. Uh, handing heavy is not too bad. So that's my activation. Just simply moving beside the card. Or the car. Okay, so that's this side of the board. And who are you going to activate now, then, Glenn? I'm going to activate Cop uh, 2. Cop 2? Yep. Yeah, that's the uh, pink herd yep. officer. Sure. Um, I'm going to move her like to 
Not towards the toxic goop. Or is she yep. going? She's going towards. She, she's investing it in the EPA. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's going to move here. Okay. And drop a suspect marker because she started in range of Gordon. Sure. Yep. She had the inspire action. Pretty simple mm -hmm. one. That's not too bad. Hmm. Let me have a wee think about what I'm gonna do. Okay, so for my activation then, I'm going to make a really easy one. I'm just going to move Thug 1. He hasn't got an Audacity marker. So I'm just going to move him basically right over to here. You can see here, so he's sort of, he's in the light, but he's basically up against the wall there. So that's where he's going to go. Okay, and uh, who are you going to activate now, then? I'm going to activate the GCP detective. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to use order mm -hmm. on um, Gordon to throw down a suspect marker here. Okay, so he has the order rule, yeah? He does, yeah, he has sergeant training. Okay. Uh, he is then going to run up the uh, slope of the subway, mm -hmm. drop down here, mm -hmm. and go for the, uh, the sir. Yep. To come out here. Okay. And use his second manipulate action, mm -hmm. um, because inspired, He was inspired, yep. Uh, to remove that uh, suspect marker. Okay, so will, he's got detective, so. Yep, which will allow me to score mm -hmm. disturbance. You can score disturbance. Sure, that's no problem at all. Wow. Which is, for those who don't know, I have to reveal an enemy suspect marker, and after revealing it, mm -hmm. have more suspect markers in play than the opponent. I have three to your one. <laughs> sure. And he's enervated. Okay, so let's see then. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Let me just have a wee think about it. Okay, so you have removed one of my suspect markers. I'm not a big fan of that. As much as I do want to gun him down in the street, I think there is a better way. I'm going to activate Sugar here. And she's going to simply move. She's not going to move all of her movement. She's just going to plop down sort of in the middle of her gang members here um just right about here and then what she's going to do is she is going to make an order action using her special she does have an audacity on a uh, gangster five there um and he's going to place down a suspect marker again like so mm -hmm. and that is going to be my turn over so she's not going to use her uh, manipulate action at all because she can't there we go. That's her activated. Uh, do you know what you're going to do? Um, let me measure something. Sure. No. I think okay, no problem. Um, we'll come We'll come back to that then. Okay, so who are you activating then? I am going to activate Detective Merkel. Okay. And I am going to mm -hmm. move him to here. Right. So just stay within line of sight of the... Oh, sorry. Post. No, um, my stick to here. Okay. Um, and let me double check. There are important considerations. Oh, here. are you trying to see whether or not I have line of sight from my rifle, guys? The shooter. Yeah, so he can't see him. Okay. The subway's in the way. Sure. Uh, I'm going to move him here. Mm -hmm. And this is. He was within eight of uh, Gordon. Gordon mm -hmm. So he gets to put down a snitch. Here. Sure. Which I don't think is any way you can reach. Okay, so a snitch is going into play. Yes. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Let me uh I don't I don't think there's any way for me to prevent that. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay, well, come back down in a second. Okay, so for my activation, I'm gonna activate uh the gangster with the shotgun here. He's sort of up by this part of the board. It's kinda of hard to get an angle at, but basically he's gonna move his eight inches like so, at a sort of angle. And he's going to move over to here. He does have an audacity marker, so he's going to use that activation to place down a suspect marker just in base contact with himself. So that's him there. You can see the wee suspect marker down. And during his activation, I'm actually going to play a card. I'm going to play not so much sugar. And how this works is I have to place an event marker within four inches of an enemy model. So I'm going to choose this model here, and it has to be within four inches. So let's just quickly measure that out. Oops. Okay. So it's just right in between the yellow guy in the suit here, and there we go. So 
firmly in Toothiest territory. And now I'm going to roll a die. So let's see. So it's three. It's a number counter. So for the next three activations, that's going to count down. Basically, whenever this counts down, I'm going to roll two dice. And if the two dice equal each other, then I score this card. Now, alternatively, for every single enemy model around, I'm going to lose one off that dice roll. So right now, it's actually I'm only rolling one die. But for every ally around, I'm going to plus one to that dice roll. So it starts off on two. There's an enemy model there, so that goes down to one. Then there's three of my allies around within four inches of it. So that goes up plus three. So that's four dice overall I'm rolling. Um, and if they match after three activations, then I score this card. So it's going into play. Okay, so that event marker is out. Unfortunately, disaster of disasters, I have drawn the twisted card, of course. So that means I can't actually score this card whilst the twisted coin is out. Two-Face has changed his mind. He had to go for that second little flip. And that, unfortunately, it just means that that card's not able to score unless I can do something about that. Um, so it's your activation. Uh, who are you going to activate? I'm going to use one of my other pass markers. Sure, so you've got two pass markers left. Um, okay, so I'm going to activate... Uh, Sergio here. I think, yeah, this is Sergio, the other rifleman is Wallace. And he's actually gonna just take a crack at uh, Merkel, because Merkel's standing beside the light. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'm gonna get rewarded for shooting him, but I figure I may as well, I may as well shoot him. So I'm just gonna take a shot at him, and we'll see how yeah. that goes. Okay, so uh, there is cover for Merkel, um, and I'm not shooting into the night, so it's just a single firearm die because of the high caliber rule, and we're looking for a two plus and I roll the one. Wow. Wow, that is terrible. Okay, so after that complete whiff by Sergio, very disappointed. Um, who are you going to activate, Glenn? I'm going to activate Batgirl. Okay. And, and There's going, Batgirl there. I'm going to move her. Oh, no, it's one of these. Right, okay. And then she's, oh, no, she's got 11 movement because of her uh, ac acrobat. No. She has she not acrobatic? Have acrobat, yes. No. Uh, so she's going to move down here. Okay. And she is going to place a suspect marker. Okay, she's going to place a suspect marker. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, and then she's taking any special actions or anything like that? She does have... She doesn't have any special actions. Sure, no problem. Um, and she does end within four inches of a serial marker oh, there. Oh, then I'll move her. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, <laughs> she can move to, I guess, like... Is that more than four? Hmm. Serial marker four inches are pretty... Yep. Yeah. You know what? I'll take the hit. You're going to take the hit? Oh, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Sure, so she's going to move there. Um, sure, and during Batgirl's activation, I'm going to actually play a resource card. I'm going to play um, to makes this better. Um, I'm going to play it for the resource, which will allow me to immediately search my objective deck for a coin card and play it. So do you remember I said before this game started mm -hmm. that I can do something that will really annoy you? Yep. And if I play, you're going to hate. Uh-huh. She has a workup. Yeah, so um, you're gonna cancel your coin draw. You're gonna you're gonna cancel it. Mm -hmm. So I'm still stuck on twisted. Yep. So I'll pay my cost here, sir. There you go. Because you've got the searcher trait, right? So I only have one one, yep. one with like two resources. Right. That's a bit of a bummer. So I'm stuck on the twisted side. Mm -hmm. Um, which isn't great. Uh it's not great. Okay. Uh let me have a little think about what I want to do. Because I do have a bit of a plan, I think, now. Okay. Okay, so for my activation then, I'm going to activate uh, Gangster, I think it's six, the one with the Tommy gun. And I'm going to spend a blood money counter here, So because I'm going to run forward. I'm going to run right up into the face of this GCPD detective, and I'm going to gun him down in the street, like the copper he is. But I'm going to spend a blood money token, and I'm going to use that to actually move Wallace four inches over to here. So I spend a blood money token, he immediately teleports to there, then... I'm going to run forward to here, like so. And because I have spent the... Actually, let me just have a quick think to see if I can get um, in a position where you don't get cover. I don't think I do, but I'm going to have a wee look around. But basically, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to shoot him, and the Blood Money Counter will give me uh, the ability to shoot with only lose by losing moving and shooting by only losing one die um but i will take minus one to my rolls but okay let me just have a wee think around here but see if i can get get into a position where you don't get cover so i had a look um and i want to remain between these two suspect markers which will there will be a reason for that in a moment um so i just moved them where i'd originally said so we're, let's just roll that and we'll see how it goes so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to kill mark uh kill the, the detective just mm -hmm. because i uh 
I've moved and I've just lost my dice pool enough that uh, he has five health, right? Doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can only deal some damage, um, which unfortunately I only deal one. I only hit him with one with the firearm. Mm -hmm. So that's two blood and a stun. So there's a card in my hand that I'm not going to be able to score. I could never score it really. But what I'm going to do is, uh, as a resource, I'm going to um, spend kill them twice to look in to my deck for the coin card. I'm gonna filter through my deck for the coin card and uh, pull that out. And so with that, I'm back on to the good coin card. Uh, this ticks down to zero. And so there you have one guy. So it's two minus one, that goes down to one. And then I have one, two, three, four guys, which gives me a dice pool of five. So let's see if I'm able to get doubles. I'm trying to get doubles on this. And two ones. Two ones, there we go. So I score the card. First points on the board for two face. Okay, Glenn, so who are you gonna activate? I'm gonna activate Bullock. Okay, there he is, surveying um, the board, yeah. Bullock is going to jump, uh, well, walk off a two story building, mm -hmm. um, fall down here. Okay. And for, at this position here, mm -hmm. he's going to remove this suspect marker because okay. he's inspired. Sure. And because he's Bullock, he gets to put down a suspect marker in contact with it first. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. He, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to score a card. Okay, what card is it you score? I score come through everything. Come through everything and that's yep. just be remove the suspect marker and I draw twice and you pick what I want. Okay, uh, not bad at all. Um, I have no resource points, which is really sad. So your searcher has really, uh, really annoyed mm -hmm. me actually. Um, <laughs> okay, let me have a, let me have a wee think about what I'm going to do. Okay, and for my activation, I'm actually going to activate Spice. She's first of all going to take a special action to order Wallace to place down a suspect marker, thanks to that uh, blood money counter before. And then she's going to move her eight inches over to here, so so that she's within uh, four inches. I hope. Yep, she's within four inches of sugar. Okay, and then she's going to place a suspect marker here. There we go, like so, and still within, nope, just out, no, she's still within eight of Wallace. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's my activation then for sugar, and do you know what you're going to do? I do. Okay, so who are you going to activate? Well, I think you've only got the one model left. Um, got Nightwing. Yeah. yeah, so what's Night um, Nightwing going to do? So this guy had an innervation, doesn't he, because he's within four inches. Yes, you're right, yes, I uh, forgot to put mm -hmm. down the wee marker for him there. So he's innervated. Um, whoops, that is a fear marker. Whatever. Um, so yeah, he, he's innervated. Yep, he's also within what I called the Nightwing death radius. Sure. Um, Nightwing is going to zip 19 inches. Okay, and that's with his uh, back claw? Yep. Okay. And I believe that he's just outside the four inches of mm -hmm. that there. Yep. Um, okay. And he's going to attack. Sure. Sure, that's no problem at all. And do you wish to do card defenses? Let's go into that now. Okay, so I really don't want uh, Gangster Six to get knocked out. I think his name is Luigi. Uh, so I'm gonna enervate, I'm gonna effort twice. I would effort three times, but I can't unfortunately because I'm enervated. Um, and are you gonna effort in your attack? I'm going to uh, effort once. Okay, so you've just knocked off one from your dice pool then. So go ahead, yep. give it a roll. Three on everything. Yep, exactly. And that is one, two, three hits. This three rolls because of handy. Sure. And that is that's four, four hits. Four hits becomes six. six. Sure. So I'm gonna roll and my. That one hits. automatically goes first. Okay. Um. You okay. Force. So um, I'm unfortunately not able to knock off very many. So five go through. That's five damage. Ten. Even if, yeah, ten. Even if I use hard, it wouldn't matter. So I'm KO'd. I'm knocked out. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then for my final activation, I have uh, Wallace up. He's just simply going to shoot at the GCPD detective, try and finish the job that Luigi started. Um, so uh, I'm just going to take a shot now. So actually, what I'm going to do is, instead I can see Merkel. Um, he's pretty far away, so I'm going to focus on him instead. He's got the light on him, so I'm going to take the opportunity while I can. I'm going to shoot at Merkel with my rifle. So Merkel has no cover against that, so I'm trying to hit three ups on my normal dice and two up on my strength die. 
Uh, that's that's two hits, so that's six blood damage. Merkle is shot there. Okay, so that is my activation over then, and that, with that, that's the end of round one. Um, I think it, it might have been a mistake shooting at Merkel instead of the detective. Mm -hmm. I have some cards that will activate though from having the detective around, so that's why I didn't shoot at him. I kind of want at least two people trying to fight me at once. Um, so we'll see if that works out. If uh, Glenn has get them off the streets, I will probably regret that, but sure, mm -hmm. there we are. Um, so everyone's activated. It's been a pretty uh, bloody first round, I'd say. It's been pretty messy. Pretty active. Yeah, pretty active indeed. Um, a lot of movement. Um, so, do you have any cards to score? I know that you have Snitch in play. Snitch. So, yeah. Snitch does score. Uh, it's right here, so I was unable to get close to it. Um, so, it does revert back to a normal suspect marker. I don't have any cards that activate at the end of the round. And I have Secure the Perimeter. Uh, so, you've got a suspect marker there. Yep. And where's your other one? Here. Right, yes, of course. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any cards uh, because you had two. So you had one, two, three, four, and then five. Where's that other one? One, two, three. Five and six there. So you've got six suspect markers in play. I only have the one, two, three, four, unfortunately. So I haven't been able to quite get out as many suspect markers as I would like, which is, is always it, the problem with Is it even number? I know that matters for Two-Face. Yes, uh, I suppose it is. Um, I don't know if it matters for me, though. It does not. Very sad. Okay, um, so we're going to go into round two then, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I really, really, really want to win initiative so that I can shoot this guy in the head. Um, and we'll see how that works out. Okay, so we're into round two now, um, and a couple of things happened. So first of all, uh, we both decided to deploy our extra henchmen that we'd been brought along. So I chose uh, this suspect marker. So if you remember, secure the area allows you to deploy your extra henchmen. Um, they have to move in on base contact of a suspect marker, and then you remove that suspect marker. So I've dropped in Thug 4 down beside uh, Nightwing, and then you dropped in your uh, DCPD Cobb 1 down beside my gangster with the shotgun there. Mm -hmm. And then we rolled for initiative, and unfortunately I did lose the initiative roll. But luckily, uh, Luigi had gotten up during phase 4 of the uh, last round. So he's back up, he's not knocked out. And uh, and then uh, we went into our Destiny markers. So you placed on your Destiny marker on who was it, Glenn? On Batgirl, Nightwing, Bullock, and Gordon. Bullock, and then Gordon over here, of course. Yeah, and I placed mine down on uh, Spice, Sugar, uh, Gangster 5, I want to say. And then I put mine down actually on Thug 1. And uh, yeah, and I actually played a card during Phase 2. So the card I've played is two phases of the coin, which is have an even number of suspects in play. So I'm gonna play that. Uh, that scores, remember those are um, in, in, you know, that's that's in place. Um, so that's where we are. We're into round two. You're the first activation, Glenn. Yes, yep. I am going to activate TCPD detective. Okay, Let's, so, just give me one moment. Yeah, so I just wanted to highlight that uh, two phases of the coin, I'd actually mulliganed for that coin at the end mm -hmm. of the last round. So that's how I have that in my hands, and that's how I've now played that. Um, so, yeah, that scores at the end of the round. So, sorry, you're activating who is it, Glenn? I'm going to activate GCP Detect 1. Okay. And I'm going to remove that fifth point marker. Okay. And that will let me score Harvey Bullock's card. Wrong place, kid? Wrong place, kid. Sure, that's a three-pointer. It's not a cop. No, he is not. And then is he going to do anything else? Yeah, he's going to go for the stir. And uh, up here. Here. Okay. Sure, that's that's no problem at all. Yeah. So he is showing up over here, uh, over where Thug one is. Okay. Let me have a quick think then about what I'm going to do. And this goes. Yes, of course, and you remove that card. Okay, and for my activation then, I'm going to do a really simple one. I'm just going to activate uh, Thug4. He's going to try to attack Nightwing with his axe. It's a handy heavy axe, so it's not too bad. All right. Okay. Okay, so are you going to effort your defense? I'm going to effort twice. Okay, I'm going to effort three times. Try and get the three attacks in on Nightwing. Um, so I'm trying to be fours, and I do have handy and heavy. So the two won't make it, unfortunately. Um, uh, this goes through, this goes through, and then these two dice here, I'm going to reroll those. Um, oh, very sad. Um, so, uh, then I get to my defense. Yep, so those two have gone Four through. Dice. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Uh, so two blood on Nightwing there. Excellent. All right, so who are you going to activate then? I'm going to activate Nightwing. Oh, okay. Um, he's in contact with uh, two guys. Yes, he is. Uh, he's going to knife stick both of them. Both of them? Sure, yeah. no problem. Um, so he's going to split evenly, but he's going to put the strength die on the axe guy. On the axe guy? Yeah, yeah. okay. Sure, no problem. Okay, Glenn, so you're attacking both my guys. Um, I can't effort on either of them because my axe guy is down to three stun after uh, spending his efforts. Mm -hmm. And Luigi's on the ground right now, so he's actually got minus one to his defense. So, yeah, um, so who are you going to roll for first? Uh, I'm going to roll against the axe guy. Okay, and are you efforting your attack? Uh, I'm efforting once, but I'm going to put the effort onto Luigi. Sure, no problem at all. So roll for the axe guy then, whatever distribution you're making there. Okay. So, oh, well, there's a crit, he's so unconscious. he's unconscious. Yeah, he's knocked out. That's no problem. Um, and then for Luigi, then. Uh, Reroll these. Okay. Oh, no. Reroll this because the two hits him. Yes, that's right. He's defense two right now. And uh, he gets two dice. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I think, now. Yeah. Yeah, so he's knocked out as well. So two guys knocked out. Not a bad activation mm -hmm. at all. Okay, so that's Thug 4 knocked out and Luigi as well, so not a bad attack from Nightwing. Um, and is he going to move or do anything else? Yeah, he's going to do a combat flip to get him 3 inches and uh, that's his 13 inch move to get to about here. Sure, no problem. So he's going to move over there. Mm -hmm. so, get away from Billy, that's good. Get away from Billy. Okay, no problem at all. Uh, let me have a quick think then about what I'm going to do. Okay, and then for my activation, I'm going to activate uh, Gangster 5. Um, he does have an audacity, so what he's going to do is he's going to move forward towards this sewer marker here. He's going to travel through it there. He's going to land right here, uh, right in base contact with the um, GCPD detective. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to then use my inspired action, because I was within 8 inches of sugar, to place down a suspect marker and then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use my gold on Batgirl to try and move her. So let's make a willpower check. Okay, so your willpower, yeah, roll your three yeah. dice, try to get underneath your willpower. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you make it, that's no problem at all. Pa sad, I was going to try and make you move to the lamppost mm -hmm. and that's my activation. Okay, Glenn, so who are you going to activate now then? I'm going to activate Batgirl. Oh, okay, so you're going to activate Batgirl. Sure, mm -hmm. and what's she going to do? She's going to run over here. She got the movement for that, yep. Yep, she does. Sure. Um, and punch this guy. Oh, okay. She made it just because she was able to use track him and move a single inch forward the last time. <laughs> Very good. So he's going to mm. be in a bit of a world of hurt. That's that's yeah. no problem. So let's go to the rules now. All right, and I'm going to effort three times, actually, I think, on this, just because I know you've got combo, and mm. I really hit that rule. Um, so what are you going to... I'm going to effort twice. That's okay. all she can do because of the energy. Sure. I'm defense too, so roll your dice. Uh, that's four hits. Yep, that's four hits. Um, I actually, block I block one, so that's three hits. That's two, four, six, done. Yep. Um, even then, yeah, I can't, I can't stop it. So yeah, I get knocked out. I get KO'd. No problem. Okay, and for my activation, then I'm gonna move uh, super hands here. Um, I'm gonna move him. Uh, I don't want to move him into this contact with Batgirl, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move him sort of over to here, like this, like so. And then what he's going to do is he's just going to simply play a suspect marker, like this. And what that's going to do is um, allow me to score a card. So I'm going to score two makes this better, which is basically I just need to have uh, suspect markers within two of my opponents. I've got one on the GCPD detective and I have one beside back there. Oh. Okay, Glenn, so what's your activation then? I'm going to activate the GCPD cop here. And sure. He's going to arrest this guy. Yeah, he's going to just take a special action. Yep. No problem at all. Um, sure, that makes complete sense. Um, um, of course. Mm -hmm. I do that and score. Get them off the streets? Get off the streets. Oh, okay, nice wee easy three pointer there. I wish mm -hmm. I had those cards. Um, <laughs> Two Face just has a hard time of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, Sugar here, and she is going to give an order action to uh, my gangster, and he is going to place down a suspect marker just right there. And that's within four inches of a sir marker, very importantly, um, or uh, lamp post marker. And then she's going to move up and over this car just over to here 
And then she herself is going to use her actual action to place down a suspect marker as well. And whenever she places that suspect marker down, it should be within four inches of the sewer marker. Yes, it is. And so at that stage, um, she's going to then, uh, I'm going to play a card. And the card I'm going to play is closing argument. And basically what I need to do here is I'm going to roll a die, which is one. And what it means is that there is a one counter beside this suspect marker and this suspect marker, uh, because they're within four inches of a scenery element, um, or rather a lamppost or a sewer marker. And then whenever this counter goes to zero, so basically after the next activation, um, I will then score this card, essentially. Okay. Um, so that's currently in play. Um, okay, and that's that's my activation. Uh, that is sugar. Um, do you know what you're going to do, Glenn, or is that? I do. I'm yeah. going to activate Gordon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put down a suspect marker. Sure. Here. Okay. Yep. Presumably setting up for perimeter. Yep. God, the Batman deck. <laughs> I'm going to move to behind this car. Okay. Sure. So that's like, yeah, it gets to there. And I might as well, mm -hmm. I've got, you know, the free action. No. I'm going to use the order on her to uh, take cover. Um, take cover? Give her a one. plus yeah. two defense tokens, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Um, so you're not using your Gordon special then, the helicopter support? No, okay. I, don't, I don't think there's anybody worth shooting. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Um, and uh, the... yep. I'm go no, I'm not. I'm going to shoot this guy. Him? With, uh, yeah, I'm going to drop the thing here and I'm going to shoot him. Oh, the one who's knocked out? Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, okay, uh, we'll go for that roll now. Okay, so you're rolling two dice against the defense two guy. Yep. Sure. Well, <laughs> you missed one. Three damage. Yeah, that's three damage. Sure. Um, I don't think I. I don't think I can harden into, into Not another when you're unconscious. Stuff. I don't think so. Um, but uh, yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> and then, luckily, because I rolled a one, that means that this nice scores. So I have scored closing argument for three points. So pretty good card. Okay, Glenn. So what is it you're gonna do? Okay, so first up, I'm going to play uh, this cop. I'm oh, okay. Activate her. I'm sure. Move Gordon in the inspire range. So yeah. So she is inspired. She, yep. She is going to put down a snitch marker. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're going to put a <laughs> snitch in play. Yeah. Yikes. It's like I have to, I have to sort of summon the moon in order to uh, score three points. You know, you uh, you wake up in the morning. Um, okay, uh, and is she gonna move? Uh, uh, yeah, she is going to move. Mm -hmm. like, she's got ten inch move. Yep. Um, so she's, she's, she's gonna move. Uh, I the um, So she's gonna move just like over to about here. Okay. So she's getting close to the scrum there. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so for my activation then, um, I'm just going to activate Thug 4, um, uh, Thug 6 rather, yeah, and uh, I'm just going to pop down a suspect marker there, he's going to take a manipulate action. Um, so, what, what are you going to do then? I'm going to activate Billick. Okay. And he's going to use his order ability from mm -hmm. the sergeant train mm -hmm. uh, to have this cop put mm -hmm. down a suspect marker. Okay. He is then going to move to... About here, mm -hmm. and he is going to remove that suspect marker. Sure. And first, put down another one in base contact. Oh, okay. If it, so. So it was like there. Yep. Yeah. There, because bullet, you know. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, and with that removed, I'm going to score comb for everything. Okay. No problem at all. Um, sure. I, I was I, the reason why I activated him was to prevent you from scoring because I've seen you scored a uh, what do you call it the one the clown on the front of it. Um, the clown. Yeah, the one where you, you're the resources it prevents you from scoring the uh, moving through the Oh, disturbance. Yeah, disturbance. So I've seen you've got that in your deck. Um, because um, you've scored one of those already. Yep. Um. Okay. Uh. Um, let me let me have a quick think then about what I'm going to do. Okay. Then what are you going to do? Um. I'm going to drop another suspect marker here because I can. Sure, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we're gonna have to go for the for the big plays. Um, I'm gonna activate uh, this guy here mm -hmm. uh, with the pistol. I'm gonna spend a blood money counter which will allow me to move another gangster four inches mm -hmm. and I'm gonna move Sergio here mm -hmm. down to here. Okay. 
four inches within base contact of your suspect marker. Okay, so I'm going to activate uh, this character with the uh, pistols. And I'm going to spend a blood money token, which will allow me to move Sergio here four inches. And it's literally just place them down. So he's going to be placed down in base contact with the suspect marker that Bullock had just placed down. Mm -hmm. um, and then he is going to run. He's going to run his eight inches up to here. So just on this side of the car. And then he's going to throw down a suspect marker himself. Yeah. Like so. So I'm just going to throw that down there. Um, and then he doesn't have an audacity marker. So unfortunately, that's all. That's all he can do. So you know what, I'm just gonna pop this uh, closer to here so that uh, it sets me up for future turns. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna activate uh, Sergio. He's just gonna make a single action, which is of course going to be reveal. So he's gonna reveal mm -hmm. this suspect marker. He's reloading at the minute, so yeah. that's fine. I'm gonna activate Wallace then. And he is simply going to stand there and reload his rifle, I think. Um, unfortunately, I'm not on Twisted, so I can't reload and fire. Um, and then I'm going to activate Sugar. She's going to move her maximum amount, which is eight. So she's going to move right up to here, right beside this barrier. And then she's going to place down whoops, uh, her suspect marker. And this is the final suspect marker that I can play. So I've got eight suspect markers in play at the moment. There we go. Okay, and with that then, we're at the end of phase three. Um, I have scored two phases of the coin because I've got eight cards in play, so I'm going to score that. Um, do you have any cards? You scored a snitch, right? So, yep, I scored a snitch. Yep, so you score that. Reverts to a normal suspect marker. Do you have any other cards? And I score secure the perimeter. Yep, because you're going to remove that one. And there's one, one up there. Yep, sure, no problem at all. Uh, then we go into phase four. And uh, during phase four, I actually do score another card. I'm going to score stick to the plan. Because I have eight cards, I have eight suspect markers out, and you only have seven, mm -hmm. thanks to the uh, work of Sergio and the spending mm -hmm. of a blood token. Um, and then uh, I've got two knocked out guys here. Gonna roll for Thug Four first. So I think I'm trying to get under four with these two dice, so good luck. Oh my god, I make it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just rolled three. Um, so he's gonna get back up, and then for Sergio, I make that as well. So both mm -hmm. of those guys get up. Very good, not bad at all. I think doing enough out of the fight though that um, that just gives me more pass markers. Maybe. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to round three. So we both rolled for our initiative for this round and uh, we both rolled sixes, but Glenn unfortunately had more pass markers than me, so he did win it. So Glenn's going first. In terms of the audacity then, I have given mine to Spice, to Sugar, to uh, Thug One over here, and then, of course, to the handgun pistol uh, guy there. And so I've given those that. And then uh, for Glenn, he's given Nightwing. Uh, he's given Bullock and Batgirl. And who else? Gordon. And Gordon, then, the Audacity Markers. So um, there's no cards that have been played in Phase 1 or 2. Glenn, what, uh, what, uh, who are you going to activate first? I'm going to activate uh, Batgirl. Oh, okay, and what's Batgirl going to do? Sure. Yes. She's going to move into base contact with him. Yep. And start throwing punches. Excellent. I had hoped you'd do this. Okay. Let's, really? Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's why I give Thug one the audacity. Ah. Okay. Um, let's see how that goes. Okay. So are you? Uh, I'm going to effort two there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take two stun damage. And are you going to effort at all? Yeah, I'll effort three. Okay, sure. Then give it a roll. Um, three up, I believe. Mm -hmm. Four on strength. Oh, wow. So that's two. She's got combo. Yeah, she does. That's two hit. Um, and the strength goes through automatically. Yep, okay. So, uh, that's, uh, so I'm trying to roll my three defense here. Yep, four pass. Ooh. Oof. So two stun. I'm going to convert one of those into blood. Okay. Um, so wow. I'm still alive. Yeah, you're barely injured. That changes things. One second. <laughs> okay, so that's your activation over. Um, but during your activation, uh, just as before it ends, I'm going to play uh, to make this better as a resource, allowing me to search for a coin. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to flip the coin then. Uh, I'm going to play uh, to make this better in order to, as a resource, to flip the coin into the good side. I'm going to counter that with uh, get them off the streets as the uh, uh, okay. played as a resource. Okay, so get them off the streets allows you to prevent another card being played as a resource. So that's a bit of a disaster for me. Um, 
Right. Okay. So I haven't actually activated anyone yet, right? Like I played that resource on your activation. So mm -hmm. let me have a think. I think I'm still, I think I still have to activate Sergio and take the shot because there's only one way for me to get into my twisted cards. Um, and that is to shoot Bullock. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, and kill him with the assassin and basically pull a card from my spent resources. So I'm not going to spend my, I mean, my original plan was to spend a blood money token and shoot back roll, right? Cause I had the opportunity, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply shoot Bullock, uh, with stereo. So I'm going to activate him and shoot Bullock. I'm looking for a three up, uh, on the normal die and a two up on the other one. Um, Bullock survives. I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend a card here actually. I'm going to play Time Bomb um, as a resource, uh, which will allow me to change the result of one die to match another die in a dice roll. Um, so I'm going to change this into a five. So okay. that's going to be um, two shots into Bullock up kill him. I will be able to pull um, to make this better if I want. But at this stage, now that I don't have any resources left, I won't. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'm just going to draw from my hand and hope I get another good card. Okay, Glenn, uh, so who are you going to activate then? I'm going to activate GCTG. Right, sure. So the little conflict that's going on over here uh, mm -hmm. with the Switchblade Gangster. And what is GCVD Detective going to do? Uh, he is going to shoot that guy point blank. Which here. Normally, oh, wait, I deploy that after. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> well, I know a card you've got in your hand. Um, they're, I, I'm going to guess they're all good. Um, yeah. So uh, obviously his gun, his gun has light, so he mm -hmm. can do that, no problem. Uh, shall we go into the room? We will. Okay, so roll your dice. Gonna be three. So. Uh, you're gonna beat it. Uh, so that is what it's blood stun, isn't it? It's double stun. Double stun. With so it's two, four, four six, eight. That's eight stun. Um, even mm -hmm. if I take the hardened, there's nothing I can do to prevent that. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take that on the chin and get knocked out. I don't think that your uh detective he doesn't have an audacity marker, right? So he doesn't now. So I'm not. So done. he can't arrest. Sure. Um, but he can remove this. Uh, using his radio? Yeah. Using his radio. Okay. I realize normally Philamo probably could have saved Bullock last turn. Because yeah. Because it can give him cover with he's within four inches of another call. Mm. Which I think he might have been, but that's yeah. the rub. That's the rub. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, so just give me a wee moment. I'm going to have a think. For my activation, I'm going to actually activate... Uh, I'm going to activate Sugar... She is going to use her special action to give distract on Nightwing mm -hmm. so that he is now down to three defense. And then she's going to open fire with her small caliber uh, revolver because you're within eight inches. You do have cover. So her rate of fire is three, which is a really nice rate of fire for a big gun. Um, uh, so that's getting knocked down. You're gonna, I'm going to lose a die. So there's three dice in that die, including the... Uh, so it's the strength die, actually, that she loses. So she's just mm -hmm. using her normal dice because she doesn't have high caliber. Are you going to spend your acrobatic on this to prevent it from getting through? I free? almost certainly will, but okay. I might change how much I spend. Okay, sure. So you want to have a little moment to think yeah, about that? Okay, sure. Okay, so you're going to acrobat... How many times you're going to... I'm going to acrobat twice. Okay, so you're only going to take two stun, which means that I get to roll a single die, and I'm trying to get a three up. And I get it. Um, Reroll. Reroll. Street guy. Ah, street guy. Yes. <sighs> Very sad. Um, no problem at all then. All right, and uh, I don't I don't think I'm going to actually move Sugar. Um, I think she's going to just stay here because she's got to protect me from him and then she's going to be within four of Spice and I'm kind of worried about Nightwing just to send on her mm -hmm. and knocking her out. Um, so, uh, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. Instead, I'm going to move her here. I'm going to just hop the uh, car into mm -hmm. base contact with us here. Just so I can go through there if needed. Okay. All right. Um, sure. And that game they're intervening? Yeah, it does. It will get intervening. So she'll go up to two. Um, sure. And uh, what are you going to do then? I'm going to activate Nightwing. Oh, so Nightwing's activating? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's he going to do? Uh, he is going to run around uh, this guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that's within the 13 inches. Uh, just worth checking if I need a back claw. Okay, sure. Um, 
Okay, so you didn't need to use the back claw then? No. Nope. Sure. There's range enough. And uh, is he going to attack that one? He's going to attack, yeah. Sure. Okay, so um, I'm going to effort three times to defend myself, just because I know you don't have a lot of effort left. Um, I, m I maybe should just only effort twice, because I've got five willpower, but eh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Um, so and how many times are you going to? I'm just going to effort once. You're going to effort the once? Okay. Max, I can take. Sure. Okay, well then roll your dice. Let's see. Um, you have... Just three rolls? Yep. And that three hits. So that's three hits. Okay, let's see how I can defend it. Um, nope, so one goes through, that knocks me out. Um, so I'm mm -hmm. KO'd. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, Nightwing has just knocked out uh, Thug One then. That scores, they won't see me coming. That, that, they won't see me coming. Okay, which is really handy for me because now I know you're not going to get a free manipulate action out of nowhere. So I'm going to activate Luigi. And he's going to stand up. He takes an impaired movement, then a four. Uh, mm -hmm. Minus four to his movement because of that. And he's basically just going to move. He's just going to run over here. He's not moving very far. Um, but when he does, he is going to place down a suspect marker there. Um, and that will allow me to play a card, which is closing argument. So whenever I play a suspect marker, I then roll a d6 to see how many turns. Oh, five activations. Oh, that's not great. The... Uh, that's going to be five activations then for a number counter. I have to pick two suspect markers. Um, I'm going to pick uh, I'm going to pick this one and this one. These two suspect markers. These are within four inches of a lamppost and a sewer marker, uh, respectively. Um, you've only got the GCPD detective left, and he's already gone. So I pretty much I don't think they can be prevented from scoring. Um, so that's going to be in play now during my activation, and that is Luigi gone. Okay, go ahead. So who are you going to activate? So is that you're going to activate uh, DCPD Detective 2? Cop 2. Or yeah. Cop, yeah. GG, yep, and what's she going to do? Okay, uh, she is going to put down a suspect marker uh -huh. and play wait for backup. Okay. Uh, which is, I think, the first time I've ever played this card. On um, camera, anyway. Yeah. Um, play journey activation friendly model, choose a board edge. Thing. Okay. Roll 1d6 plus 1, place a number counter of uh, value equal to the roll, reduced by 1 every turn. If when the counter is reduced to 0, that model is within 4 inches, a yeah. KO score. Right, yeah. So basically, I mean, all you need to do is just remain at this side of the board edge until the number counter yeah. rolls down. Yeah, that's no problem. Because uh -huh. you're securing the permanent, right? You don't want any mm -hmm. thugs to get away with the jewels that I have presumably stolen from Morley and Wagner's. Yep. Um, okay, that, that's no problem at all. Um, Will I roll the counter? Uh, yep, go ahead, roll. So what do you get? Five. Four. Five, yes, because it's plus yeah, one. Right. And then, is that her activation over? Uh, yep, I'll put this beside her with a counter on it. Yep, sure. No, that's mine. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> okay, so my one then counts down to four at the mm -hmm. end of her activation. So, at this stage, um... <laughs> The way my cards have fallen, I, I'm having a really hard time. I don't have any resource uh, points left I can spend in order to actually get cards out of my hand to begin trying to draw through. So, and I'm going to let you know a secret clan. I've got a lot of twisted cards in my hand right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply activate uh, this thug here. Um, he's going to stand up. He was knocked down as well. And uh, he is then going to move four inches towards this. Uh, the sewer marker here, which puts him just in base contact with it, and then he's going to um, take a free manipulate action because he was in inspire range of spice. It's going to move him over to here so that he's in base contact with the ECPD detective. My plan is to stab a guy later on, mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to basically set myself up for that. Um, and that is my activation over, and then this counts down two, three. And, and your one counts four. down, your counts down to four. Um, who are you going to activate, Banklin? I will activate Gordon. Gordon, what's Gordon got to do? Gordon is going to try and slowly walk his way up yeah. to the rest of his uh, team. Cool. Um, um, yeah, because at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning, whenever we were placing out the suspect marker, uh, sorry, the sewers and the lampposts, I basically tried to keep everything as central as possible. I really didn't want the sewers to be spread around because I didn't bring the gamble this time. Um, so <laughs> it's really hard to get around this map, basically, is what yeah. I'm saying. Um, because I can. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you've any way of stopping it mm -hmm. because of that sort of thing. Putting down a snitch. Sure, no problem. Yeah. 
I've been consistent with drawing these snitches. Ah, uh, it's. I mean, what can you do? You know, um, the snitch card is just excellent. I, I really do feel like it could probably be dropped down to two points and would still be worth oh, bringing. Yeah. Um, same with uh, get them off the streets. Actually, I, I think if either one of them should be nerfed, I, th I think it's probably get them off the streets should probably be brought mm. down to two points. Okay, then for my next activation, um, I'm just gonna activate the pistol guy. Um, unfortunately, he sort of waited with him too long. He wasn't able to get a shot off on Nightwing, because Nightwing buggered off. Um, so all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna run forward, I think, eight inches. Um, sorry, I'm sort of from drifting. From the model? <laughs> yeah, from the model. Um, it's gonna be up to you about there. Um, so not the best uh, position to be in in the world. Uh, let me just double check, I'm not within four inches of the lamp. I think I am, so I'm actually gonna go more like this a little bit. Um, I think you really overestimate how many guns I have. Uh, maybe, but I do know you have some. Um, so uh, that's gonna be him activated. That that's he he doesn't have any other real specials. Um, so that's him done there. And then this counter goes down to two. Um, same with yours, of course, Glenn. Uh, yours goes down to two as well. Or well, yours goes down. Um, and he does have the innervating one. Um, okay, so that that's his activation. And are you going to activate your final model? Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Right, he's here. Yep. What's he going to do? Let me check the cards I have in my hand. Sure. Okay, so what's he going to do? Um, he's not really able to do much of anything. Yep. Um, but I think he will move to oops, here. Yep. So that if need be, he can arrest. Okay, yeah, next turn. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's no problem. Um, so that will go down to one then. Your event marker goes down. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Spice now. And what she's going to do is she's going to take a bit of a weird one. Um, she's going to move forward here. And then she's going to play uh, take a manipulate action to travel through the sewers to be here, like so. And that should put her within eight inches... Yep, of that thug. Um, okay, um, set myself up for some phase four cards, basically. Um, and that's really it. I don't think there's anything else she can do. She has a few specials. Let me just double check those. Um, so what she's gonna do, actually, she's gonna take her classic uh, special action. I'm gonna order this, uh, the thug with the ax to take a suspect marker. Um, I think we mentioned it before, but he's knocked out. I tried to activate him earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and then that means that my activation goes down to zero, um, which means I do clo I do uh, score a closing argument, which is good. Um, so I've scored that a, a lot easier than I thought I would have against, you know, your Batman list. Um, and I I've only got more activations to go, so I'm going to activate then Thug4. He is going to move um, up to basically base contact with this. And then he's going to remove that with his free inspired action okay. from being within range of Spice, my champion. Um, and then uh, Wallace, uh, realizing that he's sort of irrelevant in this position, is also going to move forward. Um, unfortunately, he cannot, uh, he doesn't have like an audacity or anything. So he's just going to have to move there. I probably should have moved him through earlier. I'm taking the inspired when I could, mm -hmm. but I just kind of wasn't really thinking about what he was going to do. Um, okay. And then you score a card, right, based mm -hmm. on that? Okay, so this is the uh, board state at the end of round three. As you can see, it is a bit of a mess. It's, <laughs> there's people all over the place. Um, we're really in each other's faces. Um, my attempt to sort of bunker down in the corner here was sort of waylaid by the fact that I placed a few of the guys over on this corner, which can be a bit of a problem to secure the area. I mean, you don't have to deploy in both corners, and I probably shouldn't have. Um, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, we're at the end of round three, um, phase three. Uh, and do you have any cards to score then, Glenn? Uh, well, my snitch scores. Your snitch, of course. Yep, um, your snitch over there. It reverts back yep. to a normal suspect. And, of course, I score secure the Secure the perimeter. the perimeter as well from the activation previously. Um, okay, and then in phase four, um, I'm going to score a uh, stick to the plan card um, because I have eight, eight suspect markers and you have seven thanks to my final activation there with the four. Um, so, uh, no one is knocked out apart from uh, my Gangster 5, he's been knocked out, and uh, Thug 1, so a few people actually knocked out, um, so let's see if they're able to recover. Okay, and so for Gangster 5 there, um, he does, he gets back up, which is excellent, and then for Thug 1 there, who's knocked out, let's see, 
Uh, Thurgoon does not get back up. Um, whoops. Uh, he does not get back up at all, which, you know, is fine. Okay, guys, so we're into round four now, um, into this crazy board. Um, so we roll for initiative. I rolled a six, Glenn rolled a five, but Glenn had like five pass markers, so he got to go first. Um, and he has put down his audacity markers on uh, DCPD detective, Nightwing, Batgirl, Commissioner Gordon. Gordon. That's what I love playing about the Batman crew. You always know who the hell's getting your uh, audacity markers. Um, for me, it was a little bit more complicated, but not too hard. I've got one on Wallace. I've got one on Sugar. I have one on Spice. And I have one on... Who was it they got it? And it was on uh, this gangster here with the pistol. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty of a rough one. I don't think I'll be achieving much this round, unfortunately, just looking at my hand. Um, so you're going first, Glenn. Do you know who you're activating? I think I will activate this chap here. Uh, the GCPD detective? Yep. Sure. And what's he going to do? Um, he is going to shoot the guy that is down. Sure, yeah, that guy who's knock, knocked down. Okay, yeah. that's no problem at all. Okay, so uh, you're taking the shot then. Um, I've got minus one to my defense because I'm knocked down. So go ahead, roll your dice. You're trying to get two ups. Uh, that's, that's enough. Um, yep. <laughs> so... That is a blood stun, blood stun, blood stun, blood stun. So that is one, two, three, four. Um, that obviously knocks me out because I only have one stun left, but mm -hmm. that gives me four blood damage as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that obviously flips to a uh, KO then. It should be a knockdown. Uh, <laughs> that gives us the KO. And then are you going to arrest him? Yeah, I'm going to arrest um, with Get Off the Streets. And you're going to score Get Off the Streets? Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Well. So, uh, hmm. Okay. Is that all? Is that your activation? No, over? no, he can do a lot more. Okay, well, what is it he's going to do? Um, he is going to place a suspect marker. Yep. Um, with his inspire action, mm -hmm. um, which I will place here. Okay. And then he is going to move ten inches he can towards everyone else. Sure. Just to get him out of maniac range. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. And uh, during your activation of DCPD Detective, I'm going to play a resource, which has killed them twice. Uh, I'm going to search my objective deck for a coin card and immediately play it, then shuffle my, my deck. Um, uh, so I'm going to go searching for the Twisted card. I know you've only got like three <laughs> cards in your deck. Do you have, do you have, get them off the streets in your hand? And are you going to play it to prevent me from looking for my coin card? I can. Then go and ahead and do it. I think it's I yeah. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna play get them off the streets. Sure, the resource, yeah. no problem at all. Well, at least it gets you. You're not able to score it now, right? Um, mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that I pull a similar card during my activation. No, it's my activation, and luckily, whenever I uh, I had to discard, kill them twice because of your uh, get them off the streets, and I drew another kill them twice. Very luckily. So on my activation, I'm gonna activate spice. And then I'm going to play Kill Them Twice as a resource to go hunting through my deck for a coin card. I'm going to get into the twisted side of the deck. Okay, so I'm first of all going to uh, send a special to order this, um, uh, my thug for, to put down a suspect marker. Oh no, I can't actually do that because I've got eight suspect markers in play. So what I'm going to instead do is just do Menace, which means that to attack her, then you need to spend two, um, two actions to do so mm -hmm. and then she's just going to open fire on the detective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so i'm just rolling my full uh there's no cover or anything so let's see i'm trying to be threes um and i hit with all of my hits so that is two four six eight blood damage dealt to gcpd detective and right. he did have a, an audacity marker on him right yes okay which allows me to score heads or heads all right, and then she's just going to simply move um, not too far, just sort of four inches up to here, basically to spread the Inspire around, but still be within four inches so she can get a Protect Me off on him. And that is Spice activated now. And do you know what you're doing, Glenn? I'm going to activate Gordon. Gordon, big Gordo. And he's mm -hmm. over here? Yep. What's he going to do? He is... Uh, do any of you guys have blood on him? Uh, do any of my guys have blood on them? Uh, yes, is the answer. A lot of my guys have blood on them. Um, no, actually, they don't. Not that I'm looking at them. Uh, they've, a, a bunch of them got stun on them, but they don't have blood. Okay. Um, huh. Um, then I am going to move to here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're moving in around there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I'm going to, oh, before I move, sorry, I'm going to put down a suspect marker. Okay. Um, so Gordon was here. Yeah. He can put a suspect marker about here. Okay, sure. Um, and then he's going to do the protection thing on this cop. Sure. Okay, uh, protect, so he's going to, okay, yeah, no problem. Yeah, she has plus your defense. Okay, sure, that, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so for my activation then, um, I'm going to activate uh, this guy here with the pistol. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, going to spend my final blood, blood money token, mm -hmm. um, to give it uh, basically the sort of a weaker sort of version of assault where he loses one die. Um, mm -hmm. I also get to move a model four inches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, Wallace here. I'm going to move him four inches. He just teleports basically, like he, he doesn't move it. He just uh, gets sort of placed like there, basically. Um, whoops. Okay, and then I'm gonna move this guy. Okay, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run forward and basically shoot at the GCPD one cop. So I move four and then another four, yep. So basically you can move four this way and then another four here. And this gives him a really clean and really clear line of sight on DCPD one. Okay, so unfortunately I can't kill him uh, because I, I have moved. So his rate of fire goes down to just two dice. Let's see, trying to be threes. Oh, I crit, but doesn't really matter. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I miss with uh, the normal die. I do score. Okay, what do you score? One good cop. Okay, sure, no problem. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So that is his activation there. Then you can see he's just around the corner. Um, and who are you going to activate? I'm going to go with GCPD cop one. Okay. Oh, it's the guy who just got knocked down. Yep. And what's he going to do? Oh yeah, he got knocked down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, he's going to arrest this guy. So he's going to stand up and arrest. Mm -hmm. And that... so I don't think he needs to stand up, right? Like you can just make. Yeah, a... he can arrest. Um, it's a free action for him because of Gordon. Okay. Um, he is... So he's going to stand up. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's going to stand up. Uh, he only has a four inch movement. Okay. Um, so he's going to put down a suspect marker. Sure. No problem. Just popping that down there? Yep. Cool. Um, okay. And uh, for my activation then, I'm going to activate uh, Wallace. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to basically shoot her all the way over there. Um, mm -hmm. So I am shooting at her through the night, so I'm going to lose two dice off. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> She's got cut. Okay, so I'm activating Wallace. Um, he is going to shoot at uh, GCPD Cop 2. Uh, perfectly in range to score, uh, killed him twice, except for the fact that because she's in the dark, his rate of fire 2 means that he's going to get the roll on dice, which means he can't kill her, um, which is really unfortunate. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a, basically a... It's kind of a wasted shot, really, to be honest, but sure. There's nothing else I can really do. Okay, so I'm trying to beat, uh, I've got a strike die here, it's a firearm. So I got a six, knocked her down at least. That's that's kind of good. Um, okay, well, it might mess up uh, some of Glenn's plans. Um, yeah, just pretty rough. Uh, I kind of wish that a lot of my characters had just one more rate of fire, you know, to be able to shoot at people. But there it is, um, so that's it. And during his activation then, you know, I've been trying to score some of these twisted cards, but I just, I. I I don't have the infrastructure for it because I've kind of planned for the game to take place over here, but it's all happened over there um, because I, I split up my career at the beginning of the game, which is probably a mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend uh, Kill Them Twice as a resource in order to find my coin card. I'm going to find the uh, good you can do coin that. You Why not? No resources. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, I thought I had one more. I forgot you brought a searcher. Um, yeah, no, of course. Uh, so unfortunately, that's it then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so what, what are you going to do? Okay, that? I'm going to activate that girl. Uh -huh. I'm going to go over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to reveal a suspect marker mm -hmm. to score disturbance. Wow, very hard. Because we have... Sure. Okay. Um, sure, that's no problem. Uh, I think during my activation then, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to activate Sergio, I think. Um, because he's currently reloading, so, you know, what can be done with him? And um, what he's going to do is he is simply going to move forward over here like that. And he was within inspire range of spice. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to remove this suspect marker. Okay. 
All right, okay, and then uh, what are you, who are you going to activate? I'm going to activate uh, Nightwing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over here. Okay. And I'm going to remove this suspect marker. Okay. Which will score me... Disturbance. Disturbance? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have more suspect markers than me? Okay, so we just counted there, and uh, we actually have seven each. So you're not yeah, able so to score I'll disturbance? Score disturbance. Mm -hmm. I'll score come for everything instead then. Because we wouldn't want it to be hard, would we? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so is that you done with all your activations? Um, no, I have one more. Okay, who is it left? Um, uh, the not down. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, of course. Um, so I'm going to activate um, the uh, thug with the axe. Uh, he's simply going to move forward and remove your suspect marker there like so because he's inspired by spice um okay and uh what are you going to do then with the cop um she's going to get up mm -hmm. yep so she takes impaired movement yep okay. and that's it so that's it she's not yeah. that a suspect marker. i can't do anything okay well uh, fair enough i'll put down a suspect marker well, you may as well right there's um, no reason not to move her here so i'll push you back put up to seven marker Okay, so I'm going to uh, activate Thug 4, first of all. And uh, he's simply going to move, like, so into here. He started off in Inspire Range. Whoops. Um, you have activated all of your models, even though no. we don't have. So I'm just going to pop down a wee, uh, a wee uh, suspect marker there. Um, then I'm going to activate Sugar. Sugar is going to move uh, 8 inches. She can move at about here. Uh, we measured this previously. She's going to, first of all, take a special action, which is a distract against uh, Nightwing, so that is within eight inches. Um, and then she's gonna open fire with her little revolver. Um, I don't know if Nightwing, so yeah, so Nightwing doesn't really get cover here from this position, Didn't but obviously she, she moved. So um, that will be a, uh... oh, you're right, actually, yeah, she's no, she's reloading. She's reloading, so unfortunately she can't shoot. Um, that's sort of fine though, right? Like, uh, so the distract yeah. will be enough. And then I'm gonna activate um, I'm going to activate uh, Luigi here, and uh, he's going to move, well, he's not actually going to move, he's just going to open fire on Nightwing there, going to take a crack at him, he is shooting out of, well, no, he's shooting within range, so he's shooting within yeah, range, yeah, but there is cover, so you get one, mm -hmm. and then you've got acrobatics, so are you going to effort? No, no. Okay. Uh, you're going to stun as well. Yeah, well. blood stun, double blood stun. Yeah, yeah then it's probably worse to... Yeah, so okay. Sure, no problem. Okay, so this is a bunch of dice here. Uh, I lose one for the cover. Um, I'm trying to get uh, three plus because of the distract. Um, well, so I get one through with my strength and then the other one hits. Um, my Nightwing has three dice, so we roll that five. We roll the five. <sighs> you hit me, don't you? Yeah, I do. Um, so I get the crit in, but I unfortunately miss with that, which means that I don't knock out Nightwing. Okay, so this is where we are at the end of round four, uh, phase three. Um, pretty rough one, uh, to be honest. I sort of messed up with uh, Wallace. I kind of set him up to score, kill him twice, and then realized that I was shooting into the dark, and the rate of fire on that gun's only two, so I could never have killed that GCPD cop. Um, I should have shot at her with the revolver guy, um, but then I ran the risk of killing her, right? Um, not being in a position, so it was kind of a rough position. Um, street guy as well, obviously, very frustrating there at the end. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really have Twisted Card. So yeah, pretty pretty hard round for me. I, I think you found a pretty easy time of it. Uh, so this, these are the only cards I have on scored. Yeah, okay. Wow. Um, the flex. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, but, um, so yeah, um, I think there was actually a few times uh, Luigi was was very good. Anyway, we'll, we'll go into the summary uh, just after we score mm -hmm. the points. Um, I do I do suspect that you have won though. <laughs> um, I I found it really hard to score a lot of the cards today. Mm -hmm. um, just I think my deployment was was pretty off. But let's go into the scores anyway. Oh, but before we do, actually, do you have any cards you want to score during phase four or at the end of round of phase three? No. Uh, well, I do actually have one. Um, so I <laughs> did score. Uh, I score stick to the plan because I managed to keep more suspect markers than you. So let's uh, let's go into the score cost in now. Okay, so this is the two phase deck. We're gonna count this out first. So this is two, uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So twenty-two points. Um, not 
too awful, but not great. Um, okay, and this is a pretty thick wad here. So this is two, uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, uh, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Yeah, so that is a pretty substantial lead for the uh, Batman deck there. 45 to 21. So, I mean, that's an incredible amount of cards scored in any case for the Batman crew. But it's very possible, right? Because it's the Batman. Yeah. The Batman crew, whenever they score well, they score well. It's, uh, I mean, I, I've said it all the time. Two faces cards are just too hard to score compared to the uh, Batman card. There's just a lot going on. Um, so this is a lot of cards scored, right? Um, so even the Joker will struggle, I think, sometimes to get this high because even if the Joker were to get through this many cards, he would be yeah. capped at about 40 or so. Um, so yeah, the, the GCPD just have really easy access to three pointers like Snitch to uh, get them off the streets. And if you score them, you score them, right? Um, and you didn't even score all your all your get them off the streets. No. So um, yeah, but um, so that's that 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 is a lot. That is a lot of point scoring. I don't think I was ever actually reaching that. Even if I played well, I don't think I was reaching that uh, amount. I think twenty one was a pretty poor uh, amount, though, right? I think the two face can definitely get up there to the thirties and forties with the other crews. It's yeah. just a bit harder. Um, I, I think though, I did use the get them off the streets and the oracle ability yeah. deliberately to frustrate you. Mm -hmm. um, and by stopping you from getting to the coin and by being able to just disrupt your entire play mm -hmm. um, it's in a way it's not a lot of fun for me to play that, <laughs> you know, that my well, entire, like a lot of my strategy is on just frustrating the other player well I mean I suppose it's what you have to do right with the exhaustive planner and stuff um, especially playing against a two-face uh, I had quite a lot of cards that would allow me to uh, change my uh, change my coin card, and I, I picked them up at the very beginning, and I did use them right. I, I switched around. I, I felt pretty good on the good side of the coin, but man, whenever you start drawing some of the twisted cards and you don't have the ability to draw your new coin, it really does hurt. Um, Two Face is a is a really hard crew to play. Um, I, I think first of all, the, the sort of Achilles heel of me with my play style was that I sort of went for a little bit of a fun sort of, uh, I, you know, the secure the area uh, deployment, we don't have to deploy in both corners. You can deploy in one corner. What I should have done was just concentrate myself there because by, by playing some models here, it allowed you to sort of move in here and start beating them up. What I really wanted you to do, right, and this is kind of, it would have been easier if I had have had maybe a showdown uh, open in, would have been to, I wanted you to come in here, right? Like, if you look at all of these suspect markers I've got going on here, I want you in this field because if I I can shoot at you if I can kill you. I can start removing these and scoring cards off of them. Um, whenever you sort of congregate over here, there was nothing really. I had to start sort of beginning to make my, my way over there. And as two faced, you don't want to be on the offensive. You really, really want to be on the defensive. You want people to come to you. You want them to fight you. Um, I didn't bring two faced. Um, and on the one hand, that was good because it let me have a lot more activations. On the other hand, it was kind of awful because this explicit problem right here could be resolved with having two faced by bringing the uh, gang lord, which allows you to. Uh, uh, enter, uh, take the innervates to move pl plus you know, four inches, I mm -hmm. think it is, um, overall. Uh, no, it's plus six, right? Because it's uh, two, four, six, yeah. yeah. You get two, two, two movement um, for each innervate you take. Um, and so that really would have allowed me to kind of sprint across the board. Um, one of the things as well is that as much as Two-Face has some of the best shooting in the game, um, I do feel like maybe some of those guns could use a rate of fire increase. I know that they're crazy guns. I know that they're really, really good. The rifle, obviously, three blood damage. But the rate of fire of one really, really hurts uh, this one because as soon as there's a modifier, you're only rolling one die. And not a lot of people are going to die to this three blood. Um, whereas if you think about some of the assault rifles, uh, I think they've got higher uh, rate of fire, you know, like a Lorita and the uh, Rasta Clown. I, well, Deadshot, but Deadshot isn't a three blood gun, right? He's a mm -hmm. he's a double blood stun, like the like the uh, Chicago type riders. Um, so, I mean, my my overall impressions of this because I, I built it a little bit differently is Sugar and Spice. I actually really liked them as just the bosses. I kind of liked not having Two Face. I really love Two Face as a model. I love him as a character, and I really feel like you know it's very thematic to bring him, obviously. But having Sugar and Spice, I feel like they are stronger. Having just the order, being able to bring a lot more activations, um, as much as it made the game feel a lot longer um is it's just really handy to have whenever you really really want to play with suspect markers and so i really i think that the weakness of this list was how i played it um 
I think I played it poorly, and uh, I kind of I kind of messed up on it. Um, yeah, and there was just a few few misplays on on my side. Um, but you were bringing a pretty pretty standard list for you, really, right? Because you love the back the Gotham Bat Batman stuff. Yeah, I mean, but like in the GCPD detective, where you're mm-hmm. bread and butter in these lists, mm-hmm. like you have Batgirl and you have Nightwing and. You've got all that stuff, but really when it comes to just manipulating suspect markers, that's how you score points. Well, yeah. Right? You don't score points by having Batman punch out Two-Face. Well, you can, but you maybe score one or two. Mm-hmm. You'll score so many more points by having Harvey Bullock pick down a suspect marker, pick up a suspect marker, mm-hmm. or, you know, just any of that sort of stuff. Uh, come for everything, snitch. Mm-hmm. Get them off the streets is probably your best, like for Batman. But you know, Batman or Nightwing or Batgirl aren't yep. able to do that alone. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's just the, it's, 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 it's so much easier to score GCPD. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, but I think cards. I think that's the and case. they often score for so much more than the well. The cards. Yeah, I think that's the um, case for both Batman and and for the Joker. I think they have a really good time of it. Um, but I don't know. I'm not as down on Two Face. I think the Two Face is just a very hard crew to play. But I, I think he is. I think, I think he is Two Face's models are very good, right? They're like yeah, they're oh, they're above par compared to like a lot of the other models in terms of the damage they can do. The threat they do like mm-hmm. there's very few of the, every one of those gangsters is a sort of scary threat area that mm-hmm. can kill a model yeah. that you leave in the open um so you play cautiously around the whole crew rather than one or two models in it mm-hmm. the downside is that the cards are probably some of the hardest to score in the game yeah well they are they are pretty tough um obviously we haven't had a great chance we haven't really had an opportunity to play with the newer crew cards like the organized mm-hmm. crime list or the conk list so really what we're talking about really is uh sort of the riddler and stuff i mean you yeah. haven't ever seen the riddler oh, i don't I've think you've ever seen the riddler you've never seen the riddler I, I yeah it. yeah you I, said it'll be that, um, a game that I like to play. And... Yeah, I feel like the Redder will be a crew that you that you'll enjoy. Um, I, I quite like them. I think they're pretty good, but they're very very different, right? And I, I actually think in a lot of ways they sort of play into the Batman crew. I think the Batman crew has a really tough time with those guys because the Batman crew wants to make lots of manipulate actions and that mm-hmm. actively gets punished by the uh, Riddler crew. Mm-hmm. Whereas a crew like Two Face actually doesn't really want you removing their suspect markers, right? They they want to have as many of their suspect markers around so that they can start mm-hmm. removing them for like kill them twice. Um, and you know, I, I only got, I'm really sad because I, I never saw Heads or Heads very often and I didn't get the Twisted card very often. And I really, really like, like, I think Heads or Heads is a very, very strong card in the Two Face crew. Whereas I saw a lot of the good cards, some of them that, are good. That's the one we have to do four, four damage to, to model the Audacity Marker. Yeah, I got Closing cool. Argument a few times. And a place for a card. Yeah, closing argument is pretty good. I actually scored closing argument quite a few times. And I didn't expect that. I, I, I find closing arguments usually kind of hard to get off because. All your opponent has to do is remove one of those suspect markers and then it prevents it from scoring entirely. And it has to be usually near a sewer of some kind, which against detectives, you know, they can come out of the sewer and then remove one of the suspect markers. But um, you just had other fish to fry and and it worked out right because you were busy scoring your own cards and you did. You scored a lot of them. You scored the deck. But yeah, um, so it was a good game. Uh, It was a tough game for me. Two-Face always feels that way a little bit. I've still got a lot of learning to do with him, I think. Um, I, I kind of know the theories of him a lot. I, I've, talked, I've talked about playing him uh, with a lot of people, and I, I have ideas. You know, I, I kind of have an idea of how he's played. It's just trying to execute that. Um, again, I do think if I had it just bunkered up in one corner, it would have been better. But, you know, uh, live and learn. Um, so I'll know next time. Um, yeah, and I think uh, I think that's everything, really. So I'm, I thank you, everyone, for joining us today for another Battle Report. Um, I'm trying to get these out frequently. Unfortunately, I, I kind of lost my voice over the week, so we weren't able to play one last week. But hopefully you enjoy this one. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks, everyone. And uh, we will see you next time.